Welcome to TV station of Yijing Fengshui Weixing TV. Today is Monday, March 27, 2017. This is Stephanie serving you the news of new religion of the world Taiwan Weixing Shenjiao of this week. First, as usual, we will start from our Weixing feature story. Hello everyone, I'm Yitou Fo. This is Julie. Welcome for watching today's feature story. In 1989, a new religion of the world, Taiwan Weixing Shenjiao, established Changjing Mountain Xianfo Temple, the headquarters of Weixing Shenjiao. Then, Weixing Shenjiao has set up branch temples and offices around Taiwan and overseas to promote Yijing Feng Shui, benefit more sentient beings and together turn the world peace down well. In 1993, Sanbao Branch Temple was constructed with Kasit Garba Bodhisattva Hall and Weixing Man Hall to worship Kasit Garba Bodhisattva and Sanbao Buddha at Holy Taizhong City. We set up Weixing Shenjiao Chanting College and recitation group for the deceased, teaching students the right of reciting sutras and how to worship Buddha. In 1994, Dafan Branch Temple was established. Located in Chongling, Xinzhu County, there are Laozu Hall, Baisajue Guru Hall, Baisajue Guru Pagoda, and Reciting Hall to worship Guigu Immortal Master Wang Chan Laozu Da Tianzun and Baisajue Guru Bodhisattva. Here, not only Yijing Feng Shui Har Dharma is told, but also services of Chan events and chanting programs to benefit human beings are also offered. Dafan Branch Temple welcomes people in northern area of Taiwan to come to receive Weixing Shenjiao's Dharma. In 1999, Weixing Shenjiao established Dafan Branch Temple in New Taipei City. Then in 2008, the starting point of World Peace Taizhong Branch Temple was established. Till today, there are a total of 42 branch temples around Taiwan of Weixing Shenjiao. Each location of branch temples is a Feng Shui treasure land approved by Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi. All the masters and lecturers of Weixing Shenjiao are in different branch temples and lecture halls. They not only offer services for disciples to resolve the difficulties in their daily lives and the problems of Feng Shui, but also shoulders the responsibility of breaching Weixing Shenzhou's Dharma. Masters lead Weixing Virtuous Fellows to cultivate themselves and host various rituals regularly to eliminate disasters and pray for peace. We build a temple to make people feel like having a sense of belonging and for their inner peace. And each branch temple around Taiwan could be seen as the key for purifying the mind, stabilizing the bond in families, and eventually giving rise to a harmonious society. Weixing Shenzhou set up overseas branches in the world to bridge its dharma, benefiting heaven and humanity. In Asia, we have Japan Osaka Branch Temple, Vietnam Hu Zhiming City Office. In North America, we have offices in New York, Los Angeles, Toronto, and Vancouver. In Australia, we have Melbourne Office. In Europe, we have Spain Office. Our goal is to build good predestined relationships with Chinese people living abroad and local residents and inspire more people to learn Yijing, which is a life philosophy that guides them to know their destiny and fortune and attain spiritual peace in mind. Weixing Shenzhou bridges Dharma from Taiwan to overseas. Through international promotion, we wish to propagate Yijing Feng Shui all over the world and together build a mountain pure land and fulfill world peace one day. Thank you for watching today's feature story. See you next week. Weixing Shenjiao and Tiandi teachings have shared a long, steady, and nice relationship in terms of religious activities. In each spring, Abbot Master Yuan Ran of Weixing Shenjiao Zhonggang Branch Temple, representing Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi, leads lecturers and virtuous fellows to attend ancestral worship ceremony of Tiandi teachings. Without discrimination and breaking religious barrier, together two religions venerate our ancestor, fulfill the great way of filial piety, and pray for a world peace. Let's take a look. 
Tiandi teachings held the 2017 United Ancestors Worship Ceremony at Tiandi Xinggong on March 18th. Wei Xin Shen Jiao representatives include Master Yuan Ping, Master Yuan Ran, and virtuous fellows of Zhonggang Branch Temple have gone to show our filial poetry to ancestors. The fourth chairperson, Mr. Chen Guangli, was enthroned in February 2017. This is his first time to host worship ancestor ceremony. Wei Xin Shen Jiao and Tiandi teachings forged a deep friendship. Every year, Grandmaster Huang Yuan Chan Shi appointed Wei Xin Shen Jiao representatives to attend worship and censor ceremony of Tiandi teachings. Tiandi teachings held the first Chinese nationality united and censors worship ceremony in year 2007. After that, every year in the spring, they will hold this great ceremony. Tiandi teachings advocates that worship of ancestors is meaningful and important to Chinese descendants. It promotes Chinese culture and ancient traditions too. The procedure of worship ceremony includes rite, clothes, and instruments, adopted ritual system of Ming Dynasty Confucius ceremony. First, they will invite ancestor spirit to descend the altar, perform initial, second, final principal presentation by presentation officers who are all receptible persons, drink of good fortune and offerings than say spirits of. Every year, both religious invite each other to attend their event since they knew each other quite well. Wei Xin Shen Jiao and Tiandi teachings hold United Chinese Ancestors Worship Ceremony and piously promote filial poetry of Chinese culture. Wei Xin News, Taichung. Take a look. We will come back soon. As for Weixing TV station news feed, we are taking a look at the recording of One World, One Family program. This week, we invited National Taiwan College of Performing Arts to promote theater art which integrates singing, dancing, and acting. The president of National Taiwan College of Performing Arts, Dr. Zhang Raibing, led student and professor representatives to Weixing TV station. They were here at the starting point of World Peace Taichung Temple to perform for a TV program One World, One Family recording. With their performance, they wish to promote the education of Chinese performing arts culture and attract more fresh blood to devote to traditional arts and passing down the culture. So far, there are departments of Beijing Opera, Acrobatics, Taiwanese Opera, Hakka Opera, Theater Music, and Theater Arts in National Taiwan College of Performing Arts. The college also has its affiliated vocational high school, middle school, and elementary school to cultivate professional theater people with its 12-year successive program. On campus, people can see Museum of Peking Opera, Theaters, and Troupe of Jingju, and Troupe of Acrobatics, President Zhang mentioned in the interview. 我们台湾戏剧学院啊这个这么几年以来一直非常感恩我们似乎还有师姐在我们这个电视台里面啊给我们学校的这个传统表演艺术做了很多的推广很多行销让我们全国的所有的这些观众都更加认识传统艺术之
共同开眼道，众生可人，我这里用手一指，前面的高坡哪有几户人家？哪样有书房挂着一个大招牌呀？不如不如耍游，哎呀，我为你领你家在亲家顶在房，你心烦就唔通来做这个穷人。哎呀，老婆，哈哈是老人来讲笑，哎，无人无家哪来的？马上啊，带你去看老爷，看你爱去嘛，呀，错口。老公带我看风光，老婆你来，来。For more wonderful performance, please watch the Weixing TV program One Road, One Family, Weixing News, Taichung. Continue on the news of Weixing TV station. The very first episode of Weixing News started on November 5, 2011. Since 2012, Weixing TV station started to host a local journalist trainee program, which aims to strengthen the collaboration among journalists from each branch temple and the TV station. The routine Weixing journalist trainee program took place on March 19, 2017. Let's watch the footage. On March 18, Weixing TV station held a training program at Yangxing Ho in Taichung Branch Temple. The program is a media training program targeted for the national Weixing journalists. The program provides an excellent opportunity to gain the best skill of good grasp of the key information involving each type of news coverage and to enhance your professional skills on photography with high quality. The general manager of Weixing TV station, Master Yuan Feng, gave a speech to all journalists and said that. We know that we are going to be a journalist. It must be a job. Of course, it is not a job for you to do it. We are a job for the people to be a job for the people. Your food is... 可以使我们师傅在电视台的红华，还有我们各分分驻地区的驻守法师，他们替大众服务的时候，都由你们把信息传回来，由我们电视台来播出，这就是也是间接你们在传法，所以说。我们的功德是很大的，哦，有的时候师父交代我们，啊，电视台你都赶过来换，把我上课的资料做好，也是功德一件，因为师父没有办法一对一的去跟大家传话，是透过我们电视台，那电视台有很多。要传法的资料，就这位，这由各位驻地记者把它拿回来。哦，大家要认识，我们是各分驻道场，我们分驻道场都是一个驻守，都是主任嘛。哦，啊，他们出去服务那些信息，你们要尽量报报回来，做对分驻道场，对我们的法师驻守。都是加分。哦，这个这这一点，我们大家要认识。The program is intensive and includes briefing on various subjects with photography skills. It also includes a basic understanding of professional news channels and of the keys in covering, shooting, and editing news stories. At the same time, senior cultural boundaries provide the tips on collecting stories and the share expertise on how to cover and produce a regular news show. All team work together on news reporting and closely to create better quality content in Weixing TV News. Weixing News, Taichung. Take a look. We will come back soon.
our news on Weixingshan Jiao Dharma Ritual. Weixingshan Jiao Branch Temples hold a ritual to celebrate the birthday of Ivalokeshvara Bodhisattva, reciting sutras piously and crediting the merit for a benediction. During a one-day Buddhist rite, people have learned to cultivate mercy, elevate their soul, mind, and personality. Let's take a look to learn more about the rituals. Lunar February 19th is the birthday of Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva. Weixing Shenjiao each branch temple prepared flowers, fruits, and delicacy to worship and to celebrate eternal longevity for Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva. Sutra of Mahakaruna the Rani recorded, Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva had incredible power. She became Buddha after overcoming countless ordeals, named Zhengfa Ming Ru Lai. She devoted herself mercifully to save people from suffering and educate people from ignorance, so she became Buddha. Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva shown her merciful compassion descending to a mundane world and showing us how to get away from suffering, remaining happy and peaceful, and survive from miscellaneous causes. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi was influenced by Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva's mercy, so he made a solemn vow to facilitate world peace. By means of leading by Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva and Taiwan Zu Shi, Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi and Wang Chan Lao Zu are in one. He keeps saving the public away from suffering, resolving resentment from Chinese nation's historical generations, and heading to the ultimate goal war peace step by step. Every virtue fellow is exemplification of Wang Chan Lao Tzu and turn the Dharma wheel together with Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi for our ultimate goal world peace. Complied with Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva's mercy, we can see marvelous doctrine practiced by Wang Chan Lao Tzu and Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi together. The doctrine benefits people and builds pure land for the public to live. Each branch temple around Taiwan sincerely chanted the Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva Universal Gate Sutra, Guigu Immortal Master Heavenly Virtue Sutra, Wang Chan Lao Tzu Profound Sutra, and so on, and then dedicate the merit to celebrate Ivalokashvara Bodhisattva's birthday. Meanwhile, we also pray for favorable winds and rains, prosperous and safe people of the nation, harmonious and peaceful society, healthy and happy Grandmaster Huan Chan secure and joyful families, and smooth life going forward. Weixing News Summary Report. Continue on news of the branch temples. Luzhou Sanchong Classroom have made the seven treasures together. The seven treasures are treasures that guarantee safety belonging to Weixing Shengjiao. They are used to resolve situations that modern medicine fails to deal with. Expelling negative energy is their main function. Take a look. Among the wonderful methods transmitted by Wang Chan Lao Tzu and the Grand Master, the seven treasures are one of the most widely applicable methods of dispelling negative energy. They are transmitted by the Grand Master to all classes, and the Luzhou Sanchun classroom was the first one to vote to make the seven treasures in order to benefit all living beings. These treasures are therefore freely available to public. Other branch temples follow the lead, and temple volunteers gather materials and create a supply of treasures they provide to the public without any remuneration. Helping other living beings to attain peace is the greatest reward. As the Yuan Min of the Luzhou Sanchun classroom, let us the virtuous fellow volunteers to continue making the supply of the seven treasures. Master Yuan Min stated, <laughs> Ta 瓦草、漆啊、心、烟啊、米啊
也是属于累劫累世啊，遇到冤亲债主依附在身上。那最好的方法，师父开示，像得了红斑性狼疮的师兄师姐，最好用七宝，洗七天，休息七天，洗七天，休息七天。Thanks to the personal experience of his wife, Master Yuan Min could concentrate on making seven treasures for the public. And so express gratitude to Wang Chan Lao Tzu and the Grand Master for transmitting this method. The rituals follow thoroughly by Master Yuan Min take turns in making the seven treasures in the Ruzhou Sanchung classroom. This is a concrete embodiment of the principle to cultivate ourselves for the benefit of the country and humanity. Wei Xin News, reporting from Ruzhou Sanchung. The new religion of the world, Taiwan Wei Xin Shen Jiao, includes Yi Jing Feng Shui, academic and education. And religious belief. It boasts a diverse and abstruse religious culture. Weixing News devotes itself to providing you with the most diverse and ample information of the development and news of Weixing Shenjiao. Thank you for tuning in today's Weixing News. Please join us every Monday at 11.30 p.m. and every Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Wang Chan Lao Tzu bless you and your family. See you next time.